just arrived to the Jasper Jail. It is in Hamilton County, Florida. It is an old historic jail that was built in 1893. Um, as you can see behind us here, this place is pretty big. It's a pretty good size. It's definitely haunted. Um, we've actually stayed the night here before in the past and I can tell you two things that really stuck out uh, to me when we were here was when we were sleeping in the middle of the night, maybe two, three o'clock in the morning, we heard a really loud bang. Yeah. It was so loud, like we don't know where it came from, what it was, um, and it was really weird because nobody woke up except for Greg and I. And we looked around like, did you guys hear that? But they were out cold. And then about 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, we hear a guard whistling and we hear like feet steps coming down the stairway. So that kind of signifies that it was probably the guard spirit from back in the day and he was waking everybody up with the whistle. Now we just arrived here and we were sharing a little bit of our experiences with everyone that's inside, which we'll get to them in a little bit. And they said that they also, cause they stayed here last night. So they said that they also experienced the guard whistling and the noises similar to what we've experienced. This is gonna be a cool little trip here. Um, I plan to put out a few videos while we're here. What's really crazy is right before we came outside, we peeked into the bedroom where my mom is actually sleeping and we heard a voice. What did it say? Yeah, we were talking and it like, it said, that's cool. Like, yeah, just that's cool. Yeah, like you heard it with your ear. I was like, what the? And there was nobody in that room. So um, it's already getting started. We just got here. Also brought some of our dolls with us. A couple of those are gonna be for sale on our Etsy store. We also about to eat some avocado sandwiches and uh, drink some Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg wine. Snoop Dogg Did you wine. know Snoop Dogg has a wine and you can pick it up at Walgreens and Snoop Dogg. Uh, we brought it with us for Gregory. Yeah, as long as he ain't involved with no P. Diddy shit, I'll drink it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the front of the jail right here. Um, up top, I know that you remember we were actually on Travel Channel at one point and it was for a haunted doll that was seen moving and it was up there. I want to say it was in that room there, if you see where my finger is pointing. <laughs> Go. Oh, 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 up there in that tower. We were also told today when we first got here, my mom found out from the owner of this place that there are 84 people that are buried behind this place. So that explains why it's really haunted. You can feel the vibes as soon as you walk in. There's definitely spirits here, so I can't wait to explore it. And also I wanted to mention too, this room right here was the cell that Greg and I were in when we attempted to sleep for several hours and then we woke up to a really loud bang. What the fuck was that? 
and special shout out to the YouTube channel Chills because he actually found that video and put that clip in here. Draped off, I'm guessing, for their Halloween stuff. So I'm just going to give you guys a little run through of the place. I can't remember, it's been a while, I can't remember what was the most active for us. But I do know one thing. Where'd you go, babe? Ah. You better be careful shutting doors around here. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Look, that goes to nowhere. I, I thought for sure when I fell in there, I was going to fall to my death. What's in there? I don't know, but I wasn't sure if there was even a floor and in there. And then here you are trying to shut the door behind you. What if that locked on you? <laughs> no, I can't. But that's scary, right? Yeah, we have learned our lesson with that. Yeah. He had us locked in the floor is so a chair. There it is so cool. It's been leaking somewhere. The water's coming from up here. Yeah, there's water all up here on the floor. Yeah. So it must be leaking. It is. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of water. Yeah. Like Toilets or something's got to be leaking. Or it's from the roof. It's from the roof. Where is it? It's from the S roof. Ah. I knew you were doing it, so nice try, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, this isn't the cell. No, it's this one. Oh, let's go see it. You're right, that's the cell. And there is Rebecca. And then we also have everybody else in here. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hello. And this is the cell that we were sleeping in and then heard the loud bang um, that woke us up. It just looks so different now in here. I don't know. It does. Oh, now he found out, since he found the plans, the original plans of the building, he found out that this room here is was for the locals. Ah, oh. like okay. The, the each room has a, and he can probably tell you, can you remember it all or you have to look at it? Uh, hospitals back over there, colored sides over here, white sides on the back Yeah, they side. had it all segregated. Oh, uh, okay. Like that. Same with downstairs. The and coloreds were the first ones and the whites were the go. second ones. Did you say there was like a medical area too? Yeah, medical on the back side. Yeah. Back side over there. The back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right this corner here. Okay. Yeah. You'll see the sign that'll say hospital room or something. Okay. If you can get there because I think it's I blocked think it's up over there. Way. That's blocked. It's blocked. Oh, is it? You can get to it from over there. Oh, is it? Yeah. So have you guys done anything in this room while you've been here yet? No. No? No. That's why I figured I'd come up here and yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just told him don't shut us in any room. <laughs> hey. oh, no. Oh, no. Please no. Somebody I'm like I'm to, like traumatized. Somebody have to run up I like go into side. the rooms now and look at the knobs and make sure yeah. they're not gonna lock on me. That was pretty traumatizing. That yeah, that was so crazy. When you <laughs> someone, someone did get oh, you were with there. us. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I forgot. I knew one of you guys were with us. I'm it like, was who was, was it? Standing next to me. <laughs> yeah. When she your was mom traumatized. Asked me to come. Yeah, she was there. I said. Somebody's gonna stay in the doorway because I'm not getting locked in like Greg and Heather. Yeah. <laughs> well, right when we got here, he just shut the door on himself down there, and I was like, thank God that you didn't get stuck. So we're on our way now to the solitary confinement area, and 
they were sharing with me some experiences that happened prior to us being here. And it's pretty creepy. So I don't know if we're gonna go in it, but we're gonna get a little look in there and have them tell you a little bit of what happened. I'm not saying anything wrong. Nest is fine around the corner of the bedroom is where everything took place. I'm like scared place. to go in. Like I just stepped up in here and I felt like a heavy feeling right away. Yeah. yeah. It's the bedroom. That's the worst. That's where Rebecca got attacked. Right yeah. I don't, I don't think I can be in here. Yeah. I, totally I already do. feel it. <laughs> See what I mean? Wow. Like, yeah. yes. It's very dangerous. I wouldn't stand alone or touch anything. I have never. Here, we'll take the camera with you. Yeah, so you can show yeah, them because I know it. this is. I feel, I feel enough, fine as soon as I walk out, and then as soon I as I walk I'll in, I feel it. Hey man, you gonna come in and get me if something grab me, right? I'll try my best, Rick, bud. <laughs> I am not even fucking playing. Like I feel it. Like I fucking feel it. Like there is something fucking weird going on in here. something in here this is honestly the first time i've ever felt anything like this this shit is crazy like something is going on in here like it's like heavy as shit on my chest And it's like the second you walk out that door, you feel fine. You feel perfectly fine. You walk right back in here, it's instant. It's like somebody literally standing on your chest. I ain't like, I am not even playing. Like, can you make something move? Oh, okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Bro, like, I believe you, man. I believe you. And then, this <laughs> is what I was saying. After she stormed out, you see how heavy this is? Yeah. This thing literally, it was fighting me. And you'll see that in the video, too. Could you imagine going in there at night? We did. <laughs> we did. We midnight. Did midnight. Oh, That's what happened. Got attacked. Oh, man. So, Rebecca got attacked in there. And then you sensed some... Uh, evil entities in after there. she got attacked i took the energy that was on her onto me and then that's when i don't remember what happened you'd have to ask them but that's when i started Even in a trance kept saying rape 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 hate. murder murder hate murder. hate daddy daddy fuck fuck i was saying everything wow I, and then i just felt i got angry started punching i think I, was i punching the bed or something you were punching the bed and then all of a sudden i just looked at amanda and i felt like i was gonna have like a joker smile i was just not me i just stared at her like at hungry eyes and yeah i was just not myself you had wow. to be staged twice i had to be staged twice oh my god i couldn't get up the steps i could feel it like right when we walked in there that, that was insane crazy we so the second you walk in there it's like something's fucking standing on your chest or something it's like a weight. literally the second i walked in there i felt like across my chest it was like went from this side to this side and it was like a burning feeling and it almost felt like an elect like a, a magnet like isn't that what you felt kind of like yeah. electricity like yeah. a voltage going through my body um so i felt that at the second my foot stepped into that place and then I felt like, oh my God, I got to get out of here. And the, with the heaviness and the weight on my chest, like there's definitely something in there. I can't believe you lasted as long as you just did. That room feels like a secret truck. So. All right, so as we're up here telling everybody what happened when we were down there, I haven't even told you my experience yet. So my mom, go ahead and tell us what you guys heard while we were down there. We heard what sounded like Greg arguing with somebody very, very loudly. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I said, you know, at first I said, well, Greg needs to kind of keep it down because I'm trying to, like, listen for stuff. You know how it is when we're hunting. Yeah. And then, and then she said, well, wait a minute. It sounds like he might be arguing with somebody. Maybe Very we aggressively. Check yeah. and see if And we didn't hear okay. anything outside. So they were getting ready to run down there real quick and make sure he wasn't in a fight with somebody because yeah. we heard screaming and yelling like he was what? arguing and, like, 
like it really loud. It literally sounded like he was so angry. Yeah. yeah. Like so, I turned that's everything wicked. off, and, and we got real thing. quiet, mm -hmm. and we were just listening. And then so I that's I crazy you, you say that okay, because let me tell you what happened. Greg is the only one that went in and stayed in. Where you guys didn't know that. No, no. But he is the only one that went in with my phone and filmed because the moment I put my foot in there, my chest got pressure like somebody was standing on my chest and I went tingles down both my arms. And I like wow. couldn't breathe for a second. And Wait, I opened her back up. Which yeah. room did you go in? The what? The which room did you go in? She the, thought, solitary the, the solitary confinement. Oh, okay. We we honestly thought you were in the women's part. Yeah. That's oh, what no, it sounded like solitary. you guys were at, and then that's all of a sudden we started hearing him. But it was like we didn't hear someone fighting with right, him. So we happened? just heard him. So and then so I'm I'm getting the pressure on my chest, the tingling down my arms, and I and I, I and I literally stepped in and said, Oh no, and I stepped back out. I couldn't do it. Like I was I was like, Oh no, I can't. And same thing with them, they came out. Greg was like, oh my God, I feel it. It was like a, like a magnetic, like a, like a power feel, like a really powerful feeling. I can't even put it in words. It was like a suffocating. Like you were suffocating. And it was like, um, like, you know, when you get an MRI mm -hmm. and that feeling of the magnets pulling you, I felt pulled by magnets. Like something was like Whoa. trying to pull me in, but I wasn't getting pulled in because I pulled myself out and then the suction went away. It was like it was sucking me oh in. Oh my god! I swear wow. to God. Oh yeah, the second waiting for Heather. The second you walk out, that feeling goes away. The second you the, walk back the in, the moment it's I walked out, right there. it released itself. But right. I still felt funny in my chest, and then we both got tinglys in our arms, me and her. And and I wasn't gonna close the door anymore. Yeah. If we were recording, we would have, you would have heard Greg. Mm -hmm. Wow. It sounded to, to us sitting up here like he was arguing with somebody. Like we That's heard so him crazy because he literally. I promise I was face. not arguing with myself. Yeah, he was not <laughs> arguing with anybody. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear him. I guarantee you, my camera picked it up. I didn't hear him fighting with nobody. No. You didn't no. Hear him yelling and screaming no. And talking no. Really. no. Just only I asked face. him. I was like, no, is he okay in there? Because we didn't see him, so he popped in to make sure he was all right. No other yeah. voice there was just great. Yeah. Did you just hear that? Yeah, I was just gonna say that. So my meter is on. I didn't even turn it on. Nope, it can't be started because I still feel. Yeah, that thing's still following us partially. Wow. It's really it's drawing the Greg right now because of his strength. That would be cool, right? <laughs> oh shit, man. <laughs> Which one? Are you here? Yeah. All right, let me, um... Look, Bob Solitaire. Because they found the blueprints of the original building. That was the mental ward in Sing Asylum. But there's been quite a few people I've been, picked up on that have done Ouija boards in there, black arts, that's why they saw the skull animals that was uh, used in the uh, tools. And then when I apparently was under my trance, I also was asking who was, you know, who summoned it, and I got the name. Oh. I'm going to sit up in here. Have you guys done this room yet? No, this one. The no, south no. now. I don't think we did last time either. So I think this one will be a new one. I mean, we popped in here, but I don't think we did. No, we didn't. Um, so up top, I have my REM pod, and then we have the K2 meter here. So if there's any spirits in here that want to manipulate our devices, feel free to do so. We come in peace. We don't come to disturb you or piss you off, but we would like for you to. Speak to us. So I'm going to turn the spirit box on. Um, my name's Heather. This is Greg, Chris, and Rebecca. So feel free to say one of our names if you'd like in the spirit box. But I'm going to turn this on if it'll let me.
Sounds like the same voice that I get all the time too. Really? The exact same voice, and it's Tom the Tom. Warden. When we said Tom, it said some stuff. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to listen. And back we confirmed that his the Warden's name was Tom. Oh. Yeah, he so found the, the paperwork. Warden. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now we are on our way upstairs. Now this is where, if you seen when we were on Travel Channel at one point, up the staircase is where the the room is where the doll is. Um, so we're gonna head up here now. And this is also the area of the hanging tower, which is right in front of me there. So here is the hanging tower area. And I remember getting some footage of the stuff moving and maybe I think it was the curtain moved in this area here. You can see it now, this is the room. And that is the doll that moved. Uh, fell off the bed, uh, I think, three different times, two or three. So that was really bizarre. This room is set up a little differently than what it was. I'm sure. Oh. A little bit right there. Is there an energy on the shirt? Make it spike to red if there is. I see a little movement. The little girl that was up here, she been- That was him. That, uh, that was his fault. really attached to me lately, so. Okay. I have a feeling we'll probably run into her, you know, throughout the night. So are you like a young child? She kept calling Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. That's right, I forgot about that. And she walked right behind Daddy, me. Chris. Yeah, she's <laughs> trying to be attached because I felt her energy on my knees like, you know, young child, you would. Yeah. But um, I got to kind of let her know that, you know, I'm not your daddy, you can't, you know, come home with me. Right. I love to. You me. felt that in this room? Mm-hmm. I wonder if she's the spirit also me down to say Daddy. Too. Yeah. That's yeah, the only And part. I wonder if you put this on this. Maybe her energy will go to the bike, yeah. I saw her yesterday. Yeah, she saw me behind me. Yeah, she went behind him and then 
That's when you start feeling her right there. On this really? Thing. She was the only energy that I felt up here since we've been here. I think maybe once or twice the ward might have been up here, but, but not very often. it's always been predominantly her. Okay. And then, like I said, um, when we first got here, Raggedy Ann, the top of her hair was up to here. Now, within the amount of time, she slid down to that. Really? Mm -hmm. I think That's I might have two pictures where it shows one little, like an inch higher than the other. Yeah. I'll show you. That's kind of wicked. But other than that, it's been, like she said, kind of peaceful. Peaceful right in now. this room. Yeah. Okay. Well, that explains, I mean, if it's a child, it probably would be a peaceful spirit, you know? And they're crazy how you, you go from this room, peaceful. No, no, no problem. Go down there and it's like, whoa. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, when we were doing the video and Clay and I actually were filming and the doll fell off the bed, there was nothing evil in this room. It was almost like maybe they just wanted us to play with the doll with mm -hmm. them, you know? So that was pretty cool. Jail has nothing negative until you get to the solitary confinement. Right. That's how, how I was thinking too. And, and based on, you know, our investigating of everything here before. Is there a child spirit in this room that wants to come through? Can you say your name? Is there anything that you would like to say to Chris? Right. 